Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Life the Code Decode. After a long time, I have come back again with many interesting facts and what you exactly want to know. There are many facts which are wandering around the world in terms of rumors, in terms of some reality, mixed reality, and a lot of and what not. And people get scared of all those things. So just leave all those gossips and come to the reality. It is our right to know about the real pictures. We always been shown from our childhood that only 10% is truth and what is hidden behind the iceberg is 90% under water. So we have never discovered, we have never got the chance, never been encouraged by anyone to look for the truth, what is exactly. We have always been shown fancy things outside that okay, something good is going to happen, something advanced technologies have come, something um, interesting things are going to happen, a shooting star is going to fall on the earth, an asteroid is approaching towards our universe, which can, um, you can call it a doomsday. So this type of rumors always exist that it is the end of the world. Now we are going to settle ourselves in Mars or Moon or some other universe where some planet exists like Earth. So this type of lot of gossips, lot of knowledge, lot of interesting things happen around us. But we never dare to question them. This is our right to know each and everything. Be a fool. It is not a surprise thing. Don't pretend yourself too intelligent that you know everything from your childhood. This, this is not a shame that uh, you can ask a question that why 2 plus 2 equals to 4? How it should, how it is possible? So raise this question. What is the equation behind it? Why 2 plus 2 is not 5? Why an invisible element can't attach and create a new form? Why it is always been taught that what we had already followed our ancestors what followed and we are still following the same things. There are many other facts which are still exist but there are many other areas where we should question to solve us, to get ourselves out of that context, out of that questions, those curiosity. Don't keep it, don't suppress your curiosity. Ask questions to people. And people should be that level that they should answer freely like a layman. In such terms, I have come up with a very interesting topic about Earth's pole reversal and climate change. Recently, uh, during my office time, I heard from one of my colleague who is quite intelligent. He is working with a good, um, I mean, IT services and technologies and handling a lot of projects. He has a good understanding about many things, but what uh, rumored me and what um, it was a hilarious some sort of he told me uh, Sanjay uh, I think what is going to end or climate is certainly going to change. I mean, I asked him why why you think so? So he told me you might have recently what Sanjay you don't know that a pole is going to reverse and climate is going to change. So where there is rainforest now it will turn to desert and the coastal areas will turn to snow field and what not. So I told him my dear friend why you are worrying yourself. You are going to exist and not only you but your uh, successors, your grandchildren, grand to grandchildren are going to exist. Don't worry about that future. It is certainly going to happen in a million years. So he told me, no, Sanjay, it's uh, like, you know, like Kalyug has already approached and now it's the time for doomsday and earth is suddenly going to change and we'll all be perished and the geographic locations, everything will turmoil and what not. I told him, relax, calm yourself. Don't play yourself on such uh, gossips and rumors unless you have the scientific approaches, findings, which all prove it. Because from our childhood days, I know that a lot of I heard about asteroids. Like a certain asteroid is approaching toward, uh, towards our Earth. Now it's a doomsday. Uh, day after tomorrow you are going to die. And a lot. 
like you might have heard about the Soviet the Cold War situation between US and Soviet uh, that nuclear explosion are going to happen new works will happen and everything will perish so you can understand such an advanced country they still believed on that and they ruined most of the families ruined because they sold everything in a very dirt cheap rate their property and everything and bought underground tunnels to secure themselves and finally what happened nothing so that is why my friend always play always understand the logic the situation go for a scientific study findings and then rely on that and still if it is going to be true after that why you're worrying death is very, very certain thing death is a reality everyone has to pass one day so just why you should die every day thinking about it a death will come it will come it will play its role so you just have to embrace it what you need to do embrace each and every day with joy with excitement with new things to learn so with that context i want to know about i will let you know about uh, earth's magnetic field as you know that earth's magnetic field uh, works in very uh, complicated and physics way uh, so for example this is earth which you have um, don't just go figure out with the structure earth structure is something different i'm just playing with the role model so Earth's, um, uh, it's uh, rotate, it's a revolve around the sun, something like that. And in the inner core of the Earth, a lot of turmoil happens with the iron, molten iron. So it has a lot of molten iron. It is such an abundant form that this molten iron, when turmoils, they create a lot of electromagnetic charges. They spread it across Earth, outside Earth, a type of shield, you know. It's like a shield and dipolar magnetic field occurs like North Pole and South Pole, all these things. So a dipolar, a particular normal movement you could observe in most of the Google pictures in scientific studies. So what it does, it helps us to, uh, it acts as a gatekeeper, I would say. Uh, so gatekeeper, what it roles, uh, what it plays roles, it's a reflect the solar storm which emits from the sun. Sun usually bursts and releases a lot of energy in the space in the form of cosmic dust, cosmic rays or charged magnetis, magnetized plasma rays which occur in the corona region of the sun. They emit it and when it emits, it can certainly destroy most of the earth's atmosphere, soil, everything and human lives could be in danger. So this magnetic hel um, field helps in reflecting and split it across everywhere so that is why in Netherlands you could see the green light waves come when the solar storm happens so that is the example of the magnetic field now what is happening that uh, as per scientists studies and finding most of the people have come with the conclusion that in this 200 years earth's magnetic field has reduced to nine percent so earth's magnetic field reduced to nine percent it's certainly not going to be mean that it's going to change the climatic condition of the earth and as per the paleo magnetic study so it's a term given as a paleo magnetic uh, scientists name uh, it's named in the terms of scientists so paleo magnetic study and research findings say that the earth's magnetic uh, strength has not even tampered in this hundred and thousand years and it's intense it's still as strong as million years ago so you don't have to worry at all about the reversal of the polar what does it mean about the pole reversal that north pole which was exactly found north magnetic pole uh, just for your information i'll tell you north magnetic pole was found in 1831 by one of the renowned scientists in canada arctic region and from that day since then it continuously travel it's continuously shifting towards Russia 600 miles apart from the North Pole to Northwest side and uh, the speed of the forwarding motion is 10 miles per year to 34 miles per year so it's taking a huge time to uh, shift from the North to South Pole and it is a certain situation that it could happen because 
uh, a research on paleomagnetic study and research it was found by the scientists that such type of electromagnetic excursion excursion means a short journey is a temporary journey so electromagnetic excursion happened quite 41500 years ago and that was a like shifting it's a north pole is going is was shifting towards the south pole and south pole was reversing towards uh, taking the position of the north pole but it happened just for temporary period after that in 500 years it again moved back to its position so that's why it was known as last chance as a last chance the term given of that magnetic excursion which happened 41500 years ago and it is certain that a uh, north pole is going to convert to south and south pole is going to take position of the north it may happen and it's certainly going to impact the navigation system but yes it is not going to happen overnight it will take another years or ten thousand of years or million years to shift that and it sounds a very big deal isn't it yes but with that uh, many people think that it's an immense thing it's certainly going to happen but my dear friend for your information I'll tell you that it already happened it was found that in million years uh, 183 times uh, this magnetic shift happened so you can just understand that in 183 times it happened so it's just a general phenomenon it only going to impact certain areas but not overall such a way that it's going to call as a doomsday there are many findings as I told you as a paleomagnetic study where scientists discovered about lot of fossils about um, like your sea um, decays about your sea uh, some samples where they found that the glacial activity was very smooth it was a uh, never decayed and the fossils which were found from the reversal pole reversal period was something very normal and nothing was impacted by some climate changes something so these sediment samples of the sea of the glacial activities fossils and geologic theory never proved that uh, certain climatic conditions impacted the health or system of the living beings during the, that pole reversal it was found that this type of pole reversal happened exactly 300,000 years ago generally this is the time period when such type of pole reversals happen and when I talked about 41,500 years, 500 years ago it was the homo sapiens period means we normal humans like but yes that was the king period or some other um, uh, I mean uh, the era where the human civilization was there and they witnessed such type of reversal technique generally what happened when sun burst such type of harmful radiations on the earth most of the it gets split out by the magnetic field but some of them able to make it through the earth and that got trapped in stratosphere and troposphere and ionosphere So what exactly happened that these type of human beings who lived in um, that period they witnessed such type of magnetic excursion that was a very short term but the real facts were observed 300 million years ago so in a nutshell i would say or in a macro and very precise i would say that um, these are nothing to worry about you can live freely don't worry about any climate change what we should know that what human beings can do to prevent such type of pollution emission because maximum things which are impacting our green uh, you know green evolutions our climate our um, global temperature everything is human doing it's an impact of human working conditions like uh, continuous emission of pollution in the air in the atmosphere due to which uh, the harmful rays gets trapped and they can't escape and creates a you know like it's a greenhouse effect a lot of heat is generating inside the earth and that impacting the glaciers melt huge amount and increasing the sea level and that so a lot of things are interconnected so what we should uh, concentrate and care about 
is not to disbalance the ecosystem of our universe. We have to take care of it. And um, I would say that electromagnetic, these all work in different way. And it's um, certainly that um, it's a certain theory like you have already seen. Sun bursts a lot of solar storm and they fire towards the earth. Where earth's magnetic field, if get weakens, uh, still it's not going to disappear at all. It's equally as strong, it's equally enough strong to repel the solar storm. And it's still if it happens, if it is still able to make it through the earth's atmosphere, it gets trapped by the ionosphere. So ionosphere is only the stage where the solar storm can impact and not it can't penetrate through the troposphere or stratosphere where the ozone layer and the actual climatic things happen. But the strong point is that we should not worry about the climate change because climate and weather condition is not equally made of any ferrous or iron components, components or any charged particles which can be impacted by the shifting of the magnetic poles. So it means that your weather, your climate is all in the same place what you are enjoying today and with that you can live freely and enjoy with your family members and think for a lot of success things and positive things to do. With that, I'd like to finish my vlog for today and we'll come up with many interesting facts. Till then, goodbye and see you in my next episode. Okay, life code decode.